Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Recently, as you know, I've been talking about the new Nikon full frame mirrorless coming out and also um, the impacts or the indications from that of what's going to happen with the DSLR lineup, uh, namely just recently the 760 or in other words, the Nikon D750 replacement, um, that very popular 24 megapixel full frame DSLR from Nikon. A very interesting uh, comment feedback here on uh, one of the videos. Um, this is username Mr. Dedanon, and he says, the interesting question about the DSLR lineup is, will those cameras be gimped and have less features than the mirrorless counterparts? I have a feeling they will. Since both Canon and Nikon are not really offering the best for the buck at their lower end cameras right now, Rather, they are holding back on core features there, something they cannot do in mirrorless because of Sony. But if they decide to hold back on features, they are going to lose customers anyway over to Sony. So this will be interesting to see over the next five years. So this is an interesting comment, an interesting thought here on what's going to happen with the DSLR, DSLR lineups from both Nikon and Canon. So he's, he's saying that both Canon and Nikon have been holding back on the lower end DSLRs. And obviously, companies do that for price reasons and to drive you into the next higher up level. That happens in all types of equipment from cars to dishwashers to cameras. However, I would say uh, has been my feeling, and I think it's very well evidenced when you look at the camera lineups, that Nikon does this less than Canon. Canon will heavily strip the low-end DSLRs, whereas Nikon, even in the D3400, you're getting the same sensor as what is in the 5600 and in the 7200. You're getting a 24-megapixel APS-C top-notch sensor. you got a lot of features in there. You're just missing a few things as you go up the level, but essentially you could do the same work, and, and there's, a, there's a lot packed into a 3400, whereas I would argue on some of the lower cameras from Canon, such as maybe the T7 or, so, or the, even the T6, some of their very lower-end cameras, they don't have the features. Now, I would put a possible exception there, and this could indicate that Canon is changing things around in their thinking, um, is the SL2. It's quite a nice little camera for the price. The only thing I really miss in it is 4K. Size and weight is fantastic. It's like a baby ADD. But Mr. Dednon's points are well taken because I do see mirrorless being the future. I do see the end of DSLRs or at least a drastic reduction in the future. I don't see it anytime soon, but as he said, over the next five years, and that's an interesting comment or timeline he's thrown out there because that to me is a very good chunk of time. That's a very apt number uh, of years right there because in five years is when I would see the full impact of mirrorless having hit Canon and Nikon. In other words, their full concentration will be on mirrorless and you will see little if any DSLRs being made or sold. I think you'll probably still see one or two uh, full frame from both companies. I think, although it's entirely possible, we'll be getting rid of um, DSLRs altogether if the mirrorless takes off um, in the direction that I suspect it will, just based on Sony and Panasonic and whatnot, the full concentration could be entirely on mirrorless. I mean, what would be the point, really, to stay with DSLRs other than, um, although I'm not even sure, because everything about a new mirrorless camera could be better than what's in a DSLR. So, interesting question. What do you guys think? Do you think, uh, as I do, as Mr. Dednon does, um, that over the next five years, we'll see a, um, well, he didn't say an end, but I would say close to an end to DSLRs over the next five years, if not an absolute end. Um, what do you think about the dumbing down of the DSLR lineup? In other words, putting more of the features in the mirrorless and less in the DSLR and kind of driving them that way. Is it because of Sony? Sony is definitely giving us feature packed. So if they're seeing their DSLRs not being in competition with Sony because they're going to have mirrorless out now. Do you see Canon and Nikon not giving us as many features, as rich a feature-packed camera in a DSLR as they do in their mirrorless because they feel they have to because their mirrorless has to compete with Sony? Very interesting thought here. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Is Mr. Dednon right on this? What do you think the future of DSLRs is? Um, do you think we're going to start seeing features stripped?
I'm curious to hear what you guys think. Is this, um, are we all kind of on the same page here? Are those of you thinking, no, 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 we're still going to always have DSLRs? Don't see that happening. Let us know. Comments below. Curious to see what you guys have to say about this. Thanks for your comment. Very uh, thoughtful, insightful. Got me thinking on that one. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.